Hey folks, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is going to be less technical and more psychological because the psychology part of trading is just as important, if not more important, than your ability to analyze a chart. So in this video, I will be talking about the killer for a lot of people's success in trading and why they lose the majority of the trades. So a lot of people seem to think especially when they first start trading, that analysis is how you get your money, okay? They think that is how you establish wealth. But let me be the first person to tell you that uh, that could not be further away from the truth, okay? You could have the best chart analyzer in the world and still come out unprofitable if his state of mind is not in the right place. Trading is a probability game. No trade will ever have a 100% success rate. It then becomes a game of probabilities, okay? This means that losses are inevitable. You cannot avoid them no matter how much you try. But what you can do is remove the emotion of fear in trading, okay? Fear is what causes most people to lose their capital. Fear is what causes most people to close their winning positions early, okay? Make them get into low quality setups because of FOMO or get in too late or get out too early, right? Fear is the number one killer when it comes to people's trading career. But how do you deal with it? I read a book called Trading in the Zone by Mark Douglas. It's a fantastic book, okay? It's about trading psychology. And in the book, he gives suggestions as to how to deal with emotion when trading. And one of his methods is to learn to think in probabilities. By thinking in probabilities, you learn not to care about the next trade, right? The outcome of the next trade do not matter because all that matters is the next series of trades. You, as a trader, should have established an edge in the market and sharpened it like a sword. So you know the ins and outs of whatever strategy you're trading. If you've backtested your edge enough, you know that the probability of the trade being a winner is higher than it being a loser. So statistically, in the long run, you will come out profitable. You may lose the next four trades, the next five trades. But if you keep doing exactly what you're supposed to be doing, you will turn out profitable. But that is where most traders fail. They lose four to five trades and automatically assume that there is something wrong with their strategy. They then start switching strategies, which makes everything worse. There is nothing wrong with your strategy, okay? You have proven to yourself through countless of backtests that if this strategy is followed each and every time you place a trade, you will, in the end, come out profitable. So why change it, right? A lot of people also blow their capital after a few losses because they get this feeling of a need to make the money back that they lost. When this happens, you switch from trading out of what you see in the marketplace and start trading because of the way you're feeling. And as soon as that happens, it's over for you. Mark Douglas was a mentor for a lot of highly successful traders. And this one story just sticks with me. And it makes you realize how important it is to step off the market when you're not feeling the way you would normally feel. What he did was he asked the traders what their biggest loss of their career was. And as soon as they had answered, he then questioned what they did on that very day. And by the end of it, he found out that the majority of people had something emotional, traumatic happen on the day or week of the loss. Maybe they had an argument with the wife. Someone yelled at them at the grocery store whatever it might be, they all had something happen to them which affected their emotions before they had their biggest loss of their career. And this may shock a lot of people, but majority of traders will also lose capital when they are winning a lot. You know, they may have had seven winning trades in a row and then blow all of their capital on the next one, okay? You see, once you start winning a lot, you get euphoric. You think you're on top of the world. 
And what happens when you start to believe that you can't lose? You start bending your rules. Okay? Because you are so confident, you start leveraging higher. Because why wouldn't you if you can't lose, right? And ultimately, you make stupid and irrational decisions because your confidence became an issue. You need to trade in a neutral state of mind. But what does that mean? That means to only trade when you don't have anything going on in your mind. Say you had a bad day at work. Don't trade. You are good with the wife. Don't trade. You just want the lottery. Don't trade. Because all of this will make you have some sort of emotional connection to the market and eventually cause you to start breaking and bending your rules. Nobody can out-analyze the brain. And I would highly suggest that you read the book called Trading in the Zone. It really gives you a new perspective on trading and how to approach the market every single day. The reason that the majority of traders fail to succeed in this industry, even people who are highly successful in any other endeavor of life, is not because they lack market analysis, but because they fail to control their emotions. They fail to understand how their brains can affect the outcome of their trades because it goes against human nature to do these things. And that is why it's so difficult, but it can be done and it must be done, right? A tip to remove a lot of the fear when entering a trade position is to always predefine the risk of a trade before you put it on and accept it. Because if you have accepted the risk of a certain trade, why would you be angry or annoyed with the result, right? Because you accept it, whatever amount of money was on the line, you accept it that you may lose that. So there's no reason for you to be annoyed with the possibility of a loss, okay? Now, there is a lot more um, stuff that I did not mention in this video because it is simply impossible for me to do a seminar on trading psychology in one single video. But I would highly suggest reading Trading in the Zone by Mark Douglas and watching his trading psychology seminars. They are long and time consuming, but they're worth it 100%. You will see a change in your trading. So I hope you enjoyed and understood just how important the psychology part in trading is. So thank you and stay blessed.